What's up YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to install Hyper-V inside of VMware Workstation 12. So the first thing which you need to know that by default you cannot install Hyper-V in VMware. So if you go to the server manager and you try to install, you get different type of error. For example, if you click next to the menu and try to click on Hyper-V, hit add it will give you a warning that you don't have the required component capability whatever for installing however you need to turn off the machine so go to the top of the virtual machine power shut down so the first things we need to shut down the machine now after the installation oh sorry after the shutting down we need to go where is this machine installed so if you go to file explorer by default should be in document virtual machine but for me i just changed the folder to my own and here this is 01 now you see is a file like this with multiple little files so you right click on it edit with notepad plus plus in case you don't have notepad plus plus you click open with choose default program choose from the list notepad hit ok Scroll down and type the following command CPU ID dot V0 space uh, uh, colon false. So that's the first thing which you need to do. The second, you need to found guest OS, which is in this case Windows, whatever, Win Hyper V. Hi, Win Hyper Hyper Hyper. Win Hyper V. So now you save it. So let's go one more time to make sure we have it in here. CPU ID that V0 equal false and guest OS win hyper V. Good. Now we need to go to edit virtual machine settings on the processor virtual Intel VT AMD blah blah blah. Hit OK. Power on this virtual machine and let's see if we now have the same result. Okay, so now since we have turned on the computer, you can type Control Alt Insert from the keyboard and you go to the menu. Or the second one, you can go to VM Send Control Alt Delete. So let's put the password and let's try to see if we can install now after we change the settings. Okay, so the server start uh, turning on. Server Manager. Okay, add roles and feature. Yeah, it takes some time until you load some of the features. Add features, next, next, next. Hyper-V, hit add feature. So as you can see, now I can choose Hyper-V since I insert that command. Technically, I fool the VMware workstation that my uh, my system is not virtual so as a result it will allow me to install Ethernet 0 yes click next allow the server to send and receive migration if you want or not is up to you click next next restart the destination server automatically install and so let's wait until the installation and then we try to install a Hyper-V inside of the VMware workstation Okay guys, so now let's try to see if the VMware is installed. So as I can, as I said last time, you can click Control Alt Insert and you get the log on screen, or you can pop up from the VM, send Control Alt Delete, and will provide you the same uh, things. Insert your own password. So now let's see if everything is going to be okay. So now, beside the fact that I am going to verify, I would like to install Windows 10. So, when I try to install it, first I need to add the Windows 10 image to my system. So go to the settings of the virtual machine, CD DVD, browse, and choose an ISO image which you want to deploy. For my case, I would like to deploy Windows 10, evaluation copy, 
hit OK. So now I need to go to Tools. Okay, so let's see what's up. He didn't finish installing anyway, so let's see. Come on. Anyway, so I don't know why this uh, window is appear that is not successful, but as you can see, I can open Hyper-V. So, Tools, Hyper-V Manager. Oh, now he goes away, that thing. Anyway. So, on your server, this is 01, New Virtual Machine. Click Next. We name it Windows 10. Next first generation which is fully uh, clone it's everything is virtual if you use the second generation not everything is uh, uh, how it says not everything is virtual use dynamic memory so by default it will assign one gigs of ram so however if your machine exceed one gigs it will take extra more from this machine itself so click next i don't want to connect to any network now I would like to make it 60 gigs and the second OK click next install the operating system from the bootable CD DVD so if you remember I add from the virtual machine a CD DVD with Windows 10 right so if I go to this PC this DVD drive with the D letter should be here and should contain the Windows 10 image so as a result, I will pop up D as recognizing is a, um, a Windows operating system from the image. Or if you if you want to copy inside of the virtual machine an ISO image, you can choose this one. But since you already can have it so easy here, why would you bother? Click next, finish. Okay guys, so now right cl uh, click connect. So you have two choices, you either click start button here or the button here, no matter which one it will have the same result, so click start. So now they say start succeed. Uh, so now what you need to know is the following. In case you get any kind of error saying that you, the RAM or dynamic memory, it means you don't have enough RAM to run it. First of all, if you right click on the taskbar and click task manager, into the performance, as you can see, I have 4 gigs uh, assigned to my machine is 2.5 out of 4 use so my machine used 2 gigs of RAM and this one used another 1 gigs or whatever so in case you get such an error that's one of the reason so let's wait a little bit and then you, as you can see later on that the machine will be installing as any other machine if you try to install in the workstation VMware workstation or VMware uh, sorry Hyper-V it will be the same type of installation and they have the same steps only the only thing this one it will allow it to run underneath your server without using an external um, process okay so let's wait for the installation and then we proceed forward okay click next install now I accept the license term, click customize our hard drive, click new, apply, hit OK. Next. OK, so now the installation star kicks in. OK, thank you guys so much. Hopefully you like it. Please don't forget to don't forget to like and subscribe my videos. Have a good day.